Hey, 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 just wanted to hop on real quick and do a quick video to talk about Dave Ramsey and the Money Guy show. I know that the Money Guy show recently went to Dave Ramsey's studio and had him as a guest on their show. And I thought it was a great collaboration there. You know, two great voices in the area of finance. And Money Guy actually did a follow-up video to compare Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps versus the Money Guy's Financial Order of Operations, also known as FOO. I'm not going to go into all of the specifics around the Baby Steps and the Financial Order of Operations. I do want to just kind of speak on the fact that you know, both individuals or both groups do hit different markets. I think that Dave Ramsey is better when it comes to just being in your face. If you need that no nonsense in your face kind of support, if you are one of those individuals who just makes poor decisions, then you need somebody who's going to be like one of those, you know, Bill Parcells types financial guys. Dave Ramsey is the one. He's the one that you need to to follow, you know, because he's going to, you know, basically tell her how it is. He's going to tell you that you're stupid <laughs> or you're a fool or whatever, you know, not necessarily like that, but he, he's going to, he's going to hit, hit, he's going to hit you. He's going to tell you what you need to do. And he's not going to hold any punches. And, you know, I, I make it very clear that utilizing his plan was how we initially got out of debt. You know, going to Financial Peace University and doing his baby steps, at least the first, you know, three or four. That's what got us where we are today. I will say that after a while, you're like, hey, I don't necessarily know if this is the the, the right method, you know. And I think that's more so where the financial order operations and the money guy plan might be better for you. You know, if if you get to a certain point, you might say, hey, 15% is not enough for retirement. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the money guy and their financial order operations, they want you to do 20%, you know? And another difference is Dave Ramsey says, absolutely no debt ever. Now he makes occasional exceptions when you talk about the mortgage and things like that. But he even says, if you can do the 100% down payment plan for a home to do that, which I don't think is realistic for most of the population. I, I, I do agree somewhat with Dave Ramsey's advice when it comes to buying a car. Like he says to pay cash for a car. I think that Car payments and car purchases usually are the things that lead to people's downfalls. People, we love our cars in America and people make such horrible decisions when it comes to purchasing cars that they are willing to go into debt in huge amounts in order to do so, in order to impress somebody that they might pull up to a stoplight and only see for a few seconds, you know. Because in actuality, like, you're not in your car that much. So why are you going to spend so much money on a car you can't afford, you know? In financial order operations, they basically say, I believe it's an eight rule or something like that. It can't be more than 8% of your take-home pay, your payment. And they want you to, I believe, only do like, maybe is it, I can't remember, it's a 36-month term or or what but they have a they believe that you should get a car payment like if you need one but you need to be smart with it so you know i am cool with driving junk and when i say junk i mean stuff that's not fancy to others but stuff that's going to get you around so i'm cool to you know paying a five thousand to ten thousand dollar cash car and just driving it to the wheels fall off and make sure you inspect it to the best of your ability or get somebody who is a professional who will be able to tell you that this is either a clunker or it's going to be reliable. 
but that's not always realistic. So in those particular situations, you know, do you want to continue to buy these little cash cars or do you want to try to get something reliable and save up enough money to make a down payment and then try to pay that thing off in, in, in two or three years? You know, I just, I, I hate car payments. I hate car purchases. It is, to me, one of the worst purchases we could ever make. And I just think it, you know, stops us from wealth a lot of the time, but it's one of those necessary evils. So you need a car. And if you can devise a plan that you, even if you decide to go get a car payment, that you're going to pay that thing off as soon as possible. And then you're going to drive that thing for as long as possible after that, then there's, to me, it's not much wrong with that. So I think that the money guy and the financial order operations is more realistic than the baby steps long term but i think that the baby steps is is fine if that's what you need you know personal finance is personal what works for you might not necessarily work for me you know dave ramsey will tell you to use the snowball method others will say to use the avalanche method we've done both it really just depends on your particular situation i think that anybody who is following the money guy show or anybody who is following the dave ramsey plan will ultimately be fine. You know, either one of those plans, none of them will put you in a detrimental situation. That's the bottom line. None of them will put you in a detrimental situation. None of them are teaching you to leverage yourself in debt, you know, leverage yourself up to your eyeballs in debt. Nobody's teaching you that. They're both teaching you to become financially independent by getting out of debt, investing heavily and doing those kind of things. Although, you know, Dave Ramsey, he he's not as heavy up front on the investments, but he wants you to utilize your 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 largest wealth building tool, which is your income. He wants you to be able to use that ultimately for yourself and not by paying banks or paying credit unions and, and things like that, because he believes that the borrower is slave to a lender, and I somewhat agree with that. So regardless of what you do, if you listen to Dave Ramsey, you're going to become financially independent and financially well off eventually. If you listen to the money guys plan, you're going to become financially well off. So either way it goes, you can't lose to me, but you will see that once you do Dave Ramsey's plan, you will probably get to the point where you're like, Hey, I'm leaving some things on the table. You know, I can travel to Belize or I could travel to Portugal for free by utilizing this credit card and spending the same amount of money I was going to spend anyway. You know, my wife and I are going to get two free round trip tickets to Seattle from the DFW area in order to catch our Alaskan cruise during the summer. And we're going to do that because we were able to pay our mortgage through PayPal with those credit cards and we were able to get 50,000 points with American Airlines. So you have to be able to strategize. You need to be able to do those kind of things. And with Dave Ramsey's plan, if you're you know, hell bent on just following his plan, you're going to miss out on some things. So, But at the same time, if you don't have credit cards, if you're not mature enough to spend wisely with credit cards, if you don't have credit cards whatsoever, you can't go into debt. There's no way to go into debt if you don't have credit cards or if you don't get car payments and things like that, or if you don't go get a student loan. So I can understand where Dave Ramsey's coming from. He has dealt with so many people over the years that he feels like I need to treat these people like they're kindergartners and not allow them to get credit cards. Cause if they do, there's a possibility that they will go into debt. And if they don't have those credit cards, they can't go into credit card debt. So I get it. I get it. But Hey, regardless of who you follow, regardless of who you are a fan of, let me know in the comments below. I really would appreciate it if you, you know, drop your point of view. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Hey, peace out. Y'all have a great day. All right. Take care.